This is the only day trading strategy you will ever need. All right, so before I get into this new strategy, please let me know down below in the comment section, are you a day trader? Are you a scalper? Or are you a swing trader? Please let me know down below. I am very curious to see like this. I will know uh, what future videos I will create for you. Okay, so now let's get right into it. For this video, I'm going to use the M15. But since it's a day trading strategy, I would say you could use it on the 30 minute time frame as well. But also, if you're going to use it on the 30 minute, expect less setups than on the 15 minute. Okay. Um, also, please, after you watch this video, do not take this for granted. Go ahead and backtest it yourself. Okay. And uh, demo test it. Okay. That's what I personally suggest. Um, that's what I personally suggest. I'm going to use AUD NZD for this video because I usually use uh, AUD USD or AUD JPY. And I just thought, you know what, let's also change the pair. Uh, you can also use this on, on pairs that um, are trendy, like I would say uh, GBP JPY, GBP CAD, GBP AUD, AUD NZD. I, I would say three or four pairs should be enough. Okay, now what do we need for this strategy? We need three indicators. We need the 200 EMA, the 100 EMA. So we go here, we click EMA, we double click moving average exponential, and then go, we go here and we edit them. One should be set at 200, which is the pink one. And the other one is set at 100. Okay, you can use whatever colors you want. And the third and last indicator is the RSI, Relative Strength Index. You just click on it and you will have it here. You will leave it default. And all you can do is just remove the RSI based moving average as we don't need it. Okay, and that's literally it. That's all we need. Now, to enter, to look for an entry, we need to see the 100 EMA below the 200 EMA and price below the 100 EMA. Also, we look for an entry when we see the RSI above 50 if it's a sell and below 50 if it's a buy. And it's the exact opposite. We need to see the 100 EMA above the 200 for buys and price above the 100 EMA. Okay, this is a trend strategy. We train, we trade with the trend. Okay, uh, also price can also touch the 100 EMA. I just don't want floating candles above the 100 EMA. If I see floating candles above it, then I'm, I'm not taking that trade. Okay, I'm not taking that trade. But if I only see a touch or uh, a touch of the 100 EMA, then that's okay for me. And for the last confluence, I want to see a resistance level to the left. And then I want to see a entry confirmation, like a candlestick pattern. Okay, so there's a lot of confluences with this strategy. So if you find it hard, just pause the video, write them all down, and then rewatch it. Okay, to make sure you understood everything. Now, I'm just going to use the, the most recent price section to show you some examples. So check this out right here. We have RSI above 50 and the price is below 100 EMA and 100 EMA is below the 200. Okay, so all the parameters are met. Let's just use the bar replay to do some live backtesting. Oh, check this out. We are above. Now we can look for sales. Okay, do we look for sales? Do we have traffic on the left side? Do we have a zone of resistance? Also, for the people that do not have time to trade Forex every single day or still struggle being profitable while trading Forex, but still want to get setups like this, I highly recommend you check out my free signal group on Telegram. The link is down below. This setup was literally sent today. It was a buy limit pending order. All we do is send pending orders because like this, every single one of you will be able to make profits from the signals. And this one was sent in the VIP. Of course, if you want to upgrade to the VIP where we do VIP live weekly coaching sessions every single week, you can do that from the free signal group. OK, enjoy and thank me later. And yes, we do. We do have some rejections here. OK, so you can either use a rectangle. You can either use lines. I don't know how you place your support and resistance. Me personally, I just like to use um, rectangles. OK because I don't like to use lines. For me, a support or resistance zone is a rectangle zone, not only a line. So if I have the resistance zone here, then 
I will most likely look for a sell. Now, all I need to do is see a, a bearish candlestick for me to enter the trade. Okay. And I have it right here. It is a hammer, I would say, not really a hammer, uh, kind of a hammer, I would say, but you can see the exhaustion of the buyers with this week right here and the strong uh, the, um, the strength of the sellers. Okay, so we enter right here. All the confluences are set. Now, there's you can place the stop loss either above the zone of resistance or support if you want to be more conservative. If you want to be more aggressive, you can place it right above the entry candle. Okay, and take profit usually should be dynamic. What I mean by dynamic, uh, we will probably use the, the, the next area of support or resistance and in this case it's right here and for this particular trade we are going to have a 3.5 risk to reward ratio which is really solid and let's see how this unfolds very very nice uh this trade would have hit the take profit okay now let's scroll to the left see if we have some more examples right here again if we use the bar replay we will see that right here we are above the um the 50 level on the rsi all the parameters are met and we can see that we also have a zone of resistance right here because price is rejecting from it uh time and time again so that's also um another confluence met and now lastly we need to see a reaction and we got it we got a reaction right there again we would enter right here stop loss for this video's sake i will use the stop loss at the, the top or the bottom of the entry candle and take profit the most recent um, support zone in this case because it's a buy and again we would have another take profit okay so take profit dynamic um, that means that you won't have the same take profit every single trade but of course if you want to have a fixed take profit you can go for it i'm not stopping you okay uh, now let's look for a buy example as well we have a really good one here of course you will also lose trades do not expect to have 100 percent win rate that does not exist okay i'm just using recent price action and apparently uh we had a lot of wins with this strategy recently which is really really cool and i enjoy that okay but again it is very important to trade with the trend that's why it is very important to stick to your rules okay so we only look for buys when we have the 100 ema sitting above the 200 and price above the 100 if i see candlesticks right here between the 100 and 200 i don't care that i am below the 50 level on the rsi i won't look for trades it is that simple okay so now we are below the 50 level we are above the 100 100 is above the 200 we look to the left do we have a zone of support and yes we do okay yes we do from this zone right here this is more of a demand zone because from this zone we broke this high right here so we have a demand zone right here it can be either a demand or supply zone or a sup or uh, support or resistance zone okay so now i just look for a candlestick reaction oh and we have it again this is okay if i get a touch of the 100 as i said this is okay for me i just don't want to see candles floating below or above the 100 so right here I will enter the buy right there stops gonna be right below the entry candle and take profit on the next resistance zone which is gonna be a one to three risk to reward ratio okay and price is playing around and the take profit was hit once again okay so this is pretty much the strategy it is very simple okay there's a set of confluences that you have to respect and the the, the better you respect them trust me um the better it will be okay but please go ahead and test this strategy yourself okay uh see how you like it uh you can live backtest it you using the replay mode if you want to and if not just backtest it on a demo i would say and uh yeah just play around with it play around with it uh risk management wise you can use whatever risk management type you want you can also consider moving stop loss at break even after the trade um hits one to one risk to reward like this you will have a better loss rate and um you can literally play around with it 
if you want to be conservative, you could place your stop loss above the, um, the resistance or support or supplier demand level instead of the entry candle. That will probably give you a better win rate, but a lower risk to reward. Um, and yeah, just go from there. Okay, I really hope you enjoy this strategy. And as always, please make sure you are subscribed to not miss out on future videos like this one. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.